Hello everyone, welcome back, and today's video we will be starting a brand new series where we try and take Macclesfield from League 2 to the Premiership. Now, I don't know how long this is going to last, I'm not exactly a great manager, I don't even know what half of the stuff is, but we can at least give it a try. So first off, let's see who we've got. Right, so this guy... Tollit, I think his name is. I think we can get rid of him. Uh, second, uh, secondly, which formation would we like? Mm. Nah, 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 nah. I suppose we can go that one, see if we can move the defensive midfield into centre midfields. Just don't really like using. Uh, Centre midfields. No, I don't even know what I'm doing. Hold on, what's this? Centre defensive, defensive, centre defensive, centre forwards. Ooh, that, that, yeah, I like that one. We'll try this one. So, let's try and see if we can fit people into positions. So, you're a striker, you're a midfield, can you be centre attacking? No you can't. Can you be centre attacking? No you can't. No, none of them can be centre attacking. This is the team we've got. Uh, let's see. This, this Dawson and Fitzpatrick, we're going to have to level them up a bit. But... What I'm going to be trying to do anyway is getting youth players in. I mean, look at that. 36. Nah. In fact. Yeah, tell you what. We'll pop you for you. There you go. Right then. So, we're going to, get, we're going to put some of these on transfer. Right. So, these are the players we've put on the transfer list for now. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to get the youngest players so we can have more time to increase their overall so these ones will be the ones that are going and we have the first game now one of the rules is i'm not going to actually play the games because that wouldn't be fair so let's just fingers crossed see how we do and um well First game, and we actually won. Transfer off of Fitzpatrick. I didn't even put him on the transfer list. What are you talking about? No, 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 reject offers. And we got an offer for Vincenti, which I am going to accept, as we need to get rid of the old ones. And I'm pretty sure we've still got another right midfield. Now let's get into the semi-finals of the uh, Champions Trophy. Not big expectations, and yeah, we lost. And here we are, the first group of potential youth players. Right, looking at their overalls, not exactly great, so I'm going to give it another month to see how well they do, and hopefully they change. And it looks like Archibald has suffered an injury, and I don't think he's going to be playing for about eight weeks. So let's see if we have anyone else we can go to. Let's see, so we need a right wing. Well, oh, we do have a right back. Ah, that's perfect. We'll put him in just until Archibald comes back, and we'll put him back there. Patrick and Dawson, yeah. And it looks like our Caro Cup, Car Carabao Cup uh, run has finally ended. We lost to Rochdale, of all people. But that means more time we can focus on the league. And we're into the final hour of the transfer window. We still have three of the strikers that we tried to sell. So I guess I'll have to just release them. Might cost us a bit extra, but 
we don't we need to save as much money as we can so when we do get youth players in we'll have enough money to pay for them and then the board won't fire maybe because we don't have any funds and speaking of Speaking of youth players, we have this guy, not exactly great, but he's a goalkeeper, I mean, should we risk it, should we let the scouts go a bit further, I mean, I'm looking for these, like this guy here, Tyler Price, potential 66 to 84, so I think I think we'll sign this guy. 65 to 83. I think we'll sign this Morgan Thomas as well. Why not? 68 to 92. Oh, we've definitely got to sign this guy. Hmm. Now that I look, I don't think we will need these. We don't need any wingers and we don't need a centre defensive midfield. I just clicked the wrong button then, didn't I? Okay, so after the first 10 games, we have won 4, drawn 2, and lost 4, with 14 points, and, well, a hard times ahead, I guess. Swindon Towns played 10 and won every single one, just madness. But anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to leave this first episode. Hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.